Hey guys, this is Julian. Today we're going to hop into Ableton Live and set up a default template to help you guys optimize your workflow. Let's get started. Awesome guys, so we are here in Ableton Live today and as you can see we have loaded into the default set. If you guys are interested in the skin I use, which I get a lot of comments on, uh, the link is in the video description below, it's by the same guy who did the Serum UI. But as you can see we have the default set up here with two MIDI channels and two audio channels, as well as two send channels, one reverb and one delay. Now I don't know if, about you guys, but I don't use typically the stock reverb or ever the um, standard delay in a send. And if I do, then I add it later. So what we're gonna do first is delete these two channels. Now what we're doing today is building a default set for you to load your Ableton into. Um, this set with four channels and then two sends is kind of unideal for uh, writing music from the start. What we're going to do is we're going to remove those two channels here. We're actually going to remove all of them that we can. We have one MIDI channel here. We remove those sends. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a default profile for Ableton so that when it loads in, we have everything we need to work with and um, have it ready to go. So from this point forward, it's very up to you. It's actually um, add a master chain here. Um, and essentially everything that you do um, in this live set is going to be an automatic load whenever you relaunch Ableton in the future. So my mastering chain typically consists of a glue compressor, an EQ, isotope ozone's limiter, a vintage limiter. Now following that limiter, we're gonna do a gain utility. We're gonna use the utility function. And then we're just gonna bus all these together in a group like so, just to save a little bit of space. We'll actually go ahead and name this master chain, master. Now you don't have to do any of this. Um, this is all up to you. It's just essentially how you want to set up your live set um, so that whenever Ableton opens, it'll open up this set. So this is our master chain. We can actually leave this MIDI here. I'm actually gonna um, rename this with capital. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to options. This is the key, preferences. Go to the file folder. And as you can see right here, it says save current set as default. We're gonna hit save. And then whenever you relaunch Ableton, so we'll do this right now, we're actually gonna make a new live set. We can hit no to save changes so everything will be cleared. Now whenever you create a new live set or launch Ableton for the first time, you're gonna have this awesome new template that you just made uh, to start with so you can hop right in and to start writing your music, avoiding all the things you're gonna have to add anyway because we all know that you're gonna use an EQ, a compressor, limiter, and a utility on your master chain. Why not just have it there already? And if you don't need it, delete it instead of having to drag it in. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike and let me know why in the comments below. I make a video every Wednesday and Friday. We're planning on adding more videos uh, per week in the future. Not set in stone yet, but we're thinking about doing Mondays. I am Julian. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. And um, have a nice day. I'll see you next week.